channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really pretty daytime glam makeup look and then turn it into a nighttime glam makeup look for Mother's Day. You don't have to wear it for Mother's Day. It could be for any other occasion. And I'm also going to have all of the products that I used on my face listed on the info box below. So go ahead and check that out. So now let's go ahead and proceed. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is prime your eyelid. This is going to make sure that whatever you put on your eyelid will stay on all day. And of course, you guys know that I love my Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer in flat. So now what I'm going to do is apply a base for my highlight just because I personally want my hi my highlight to be really, really bright. You totally can skip this step if you want to. It's not necessary. I'm going to be using this Benefit High Brow Pencil, which is a linen pink pencil. Just applying it underneath the arch of my brow only. And to blend that out, I'm going to be using just a flat concealer brush. And at the same time, I'm going to switch my finger to warm up that product and make it blend a lot easier. Okay, so see how bright that is? Now on top of that, I'm going to be using my favorite brow highlight, which is Max Vanilla Eyeshadow with a flat shader brush. And I'm going to be pressing this eyeshadow right on top and blending it down. Okay, so there you have it. I know it looks really bright, but it won't look as bright as it does right now once I'm done with the crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to a fluffier crease brush. And for the rest of the eyeshadows minus the lid, I'm gonna be using this Sleek palette. This is the color On Natural. And I'm gonna be taking this light, cool, beigey color. If you have deeper skin, take something on the warmer side, but I'm basically going to be using this to create a seamless shadow on my crease. So I don't want it to look brown brown, I just want it to look, you know, natural. Okay, so see how I created a natural, a natural shadow on the crease? Now I'm going to go ahead and take a flat brush and I'm going to pick up some of this MAC shadow in Electra. This is going to be our lid color. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and switch to a flat eyeliner brush. Make sure it's a little bit soft because we're going to be using this underneath our lash line. I'm going to be taking this really pretty plummy color that comes in the palette. I'm going to be applying it underneath our lash line to make it smoky and the purpliness will give it that smokiness. Now we're going to be using um, we're going to be using this black shadow and I'm going to keep this eyeshadow really really close to the lash line so it just looks like Okay, so now I'm going to be switching to this MAC 217 brush, which is one of my favorite brushes. And this time I'm going to go in with this color right here. One, two, three. And I'm just going to be applying the tiniest amount to the outer part of my crease. Okay, so after that, I've already done my winged liner with a cute flirty wing and I applied mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Now, it's time to apply false lashes and you don't have to if you don't want to, but do it because you will regret it. Okay, so the lashes that I'm going to be using are Mink Wink lashes and look at the packaging. It's so cute and glittery and these are in the style Mademoiselle. They are gorgeous and Honestly, I cannot feel them on my eyelids. They're so lightweight and they look beautiful. I actually use these on my brides because I, I love them so much. Alright, so now it's time to turn this daytime glam look into a nighttime glam look. Okay, so we're only going to do a few additional steps to create this daytime glam makeup more into a nighttime sexy makeup for you. Okay, so as far as the complexion goes, you want to make sure that you blot off the extra oil if you have been wearing this complexion makeup all day long. What I would personally do is get a makeup wipe and just remove the complexion area and start your complexion fresh just because 
whenever I wear foundation for so long, it just starts to feel nasty. So for you to feel more comfortable and look even fresher, go ahead and do that if you want to. So once you have your foundation and concealer on, by the way, I used my Dior Nude Air foundation, which has been my favorite foundation ever, ever since I did that review. So if you want to see the review for this foundation, go check it out. I'll link it in the description bar below. And for concealer, I used the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And on top of that, to give me that nice highlight underneath the eyes, I used a little bit of this Laura Mercier Number no. 2 Full Coverage Concealer. Now, I obviously have a foundation and blush and all of that on, but I'm going to go ahead and just emphasize that even more. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more bronzer. And you can go heavier on the contour, but I'm not. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm using the Balm Bahama Mama. Okay, so that's enough for me. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit more blush. And for blush today, I'm going to be using my favorite blush ever, which is the Benefit Rockateur blush. And I'm using this Morphe M500 brush because it's just going to apply the blush really evenly and it's not tight. So it's going to just distribute it evenly and really pretty. Okay, so earlier I did not apply a highlight because I felt like the blush gave me enough highlight for the day, but because it's nighttime now, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a highlight. I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush in the number M438. And for highlight, I'm gonna be using my favorite highlight by Becca in Opal. And I'm gonna be applying it right on my cheekbone and you don't need a lot with this highlight if you put too much it's gonna look very very uh, I don't know but if you apply just a little bit it's gonna look perfect I promise you Ooh, oh, mm. highlight no highlight highlight no highlight okay so now to make my eyeshadow a little bit more dramatic for nighttime I'm gonna be taking this color right here which is the first one that we already have on the crease the second one that we have on the crease with the same MAC 217 brush and I already did it on this side but see how much more smoky and sexy that looks I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this eye so just apply it to the outer corner Okay, and that's basically all for the nighttime glam makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and now Facebook. And I don't even know what my Facebook name is, but I will have all the links to my social medias in the description bar below. I wish you all a very happy Mother's Day, and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.